Hey guys, Casey with Fish on Fish Stories, and I'm back in California, and the fishing is good. Now, I wanted to let you in on a little project that I did after I tell you about these German browns that I caught in the river of the foothills of California in the Sierra Nevada. Now, it's pretty amazing, and I believe probably most of these rivers are definitely loaded with German brown trout, if you can get up above the dams. Now, these German browns I caught in this sandy bottom as the river was doglegging right and on the inside lane imagine you're on a racetrack in very deep water there was a sandbar and this is where these fish were caught i'm not going to give up my secret location but traveling home from this fish catch i decided that i was going to remodel the back of my nissan xterra now i haven't seen a lot of solutions and definitely have not seen a lot of videos on this this design that i came up with but what i thought to myself is i need a place to store my poles and this also doubles as a sleeping platform if you want to camp in the back of your car. Now luckily, I'm a tall guy, and so I measured this out, and it just came in at six feet, six one, right around there, of length from my tailgate all the way into the back seats. Now I did do a carve out, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I did this behind my seat because I am a little bit taller. And then the seat in the passenger side I left that hole. I also had to do a little knockout on the right, as you can see there, because there was a wheel well that came down where the gas tank comes in on that side, and we had to make room for that, so it laid flat. Now, other than where the gas tank comes in, I was able to use the wheel wells as part of the support, and that is the height that you wanna make this because they offer side support. But like I said, you do have to cut out the side where the gas tank comes in and that's the only cutout you have to do on the side. Now you're going to need a circular saw for this. That's the quickest way to cut through this wood. This whole project cost me about a little over $40. What you're going to need is a piece of plywood. The quality of plywood that you use is up to you. It all depends on how much you wanna spend. I think I bought a $20 piece of plywood, but there are more finished pieces that look a lot nicer. But if you're gonna cover it up anyway, I wouldn't worry about it. Now I used 5 8 inch because I'm about a 200 pound guy. And so I didn't wanna to have to worry about adding supports all through the underside of this. This is simply four supports. I'm gonna show you how to cut those and I'm also gonna show you how to install this. Now, luckily, this width of this plywood is exactly 40, I think it was 47 inches, which just so happens to be almost the exact width of the interior of my truck. Now, I was also able to pull the seats out, the seat cushions out of the back seat and store those in a different location so that the backs of the seats can lay more flat. And so that worked out great because there was just a slight rise once I got those seat cushions removed. And so for the most part, the front supports are a little bit shorter than the back supports, but not by much. I think I cut the front supports at three inches and all I did was use these four by four wood blocks. I cut them three inches in length and I just used the height of this as my underside support for the front portion of the plywood and then I just came in with some two inch screws and screwed right down through the top once these were in place underneath the plywood I just put two screws and that was it now with 5 8 inch and you've got four supports one on each corner and I actually placed them about two two inches from the corner like offset just so they could kind of be out of the way you have really good support with this plywood solution my vehicle length is six feet from the hatchback to the actual back of my seat where I could sit comfortably and again like I said behind the driver's seat I did knock that out I believe it was like seven inches for my particular vehicle so those are the dimensions six feet by 47 which is the standard width with a seven inch knockout and if you have a Nissan Xterra 2002 you can do this same exact cut and there's a small notch. I would just place the piece of plywood in there and see where the gas tank channel is coming down through and then just cut a small triangle out of that. So 
So again, the circular saw makes quick work of this. I finished mine with just a regular sheet. That's all that is. But you could finish it with a carpet pad and some carpet if you want. And one other thing, don't forget to sand all of your edges, your plywood. You don't want splinters or things hanging out. Again, the whole project for under $40, you now have basically a tent inside of the back of your car with some stowaway storage underneath for when the elements get too crazy. Now I'd recommend topping this with a Tempur-Pedic mattress, like a, a three inch or a six inch for extra comfort. And if you're planning on going up in the mountains, you definitely want a zero degree bag inside of the back of that cabin so that you can stay nice and warm without building a fire. And that's about it, you guys. Hope this was helpful. Happy fishing, tight lines. Take care and be safe.